Ah, uh, hello everyone. I'm Sakimos. I'm gonna explain the Metal Slug 3 speedrun strats today. Uh, maybe today will be the part one. Maybe because I only have 15 minutes now. Uh, maybe rest of my strats explanation would be recorded on Monday. Uh, okay. Um. So. Today, maybe only mission one, two, three. I'm gonna explain today, maybe. Okay, so let's go. First, um, uh, start in starting the ramp. Uh, the thing you should know is, uh, Arian Tarma is kind of one point zero point five, uh, zero point five seconds, kind of. Sl slower than Marco and Theo because Arian Tarma needs kind of more animation at the last part and that takes 0 0.5 seconds. Uh, I'll I'll tell you about that at the other day that I would explain my strat at the final mission. Okay, so uh, so I recommend to do by Marco or Theo if you like female then you should do VO or and if you like male then you should you can do with Marco like me so let's go um, I'm gonna use save because uh, I might uh, do some mistakes uh, today's uh, strat explanation is about some of the timings that I know okay so first uh, some guys don't know kind of here the how to destroy the house, maybe the crab house by only three bombs. Um, to do that, uh, first you should know that the crab house is 20. The, I mean the HP. HP is 20. So by two bombs, the crab house can be destroyed. But after that, the crab from the crab house kind of spawn after that and because of the remaining crab the screen doesn't move so we have to kill the crab so that takes one more bomb so we need to throw throw three bombs at here but if you throw the bomb with a kind of uh, different timing then the crab first die and another two bombs can kind of destroy the house and after that one more crab is spawned after that because there wasn't a crab in the screen the crab house are going is going to spawn another crab and so that thing makes your sure, make you use one more bomb or kind of die by the crab so for that we need to throw the bomb at exact timing to destroy the crab, destroy the crab house and the crab at once. So, for that timing, you should jump at here and before you jump, you should kill this crab, this crab. Then, uh, after the screen stop, throwing the three bomb, we can go exact timing. So I'll show you first. Kill this guy. Kill that one too. And let's save here. Uh, kill this guy. And jump it here. And throw three bomb. Okay, so then you can go by. Go with uh, killing that at exact timing. So. Oh, I didn't throw the three bomb. That, at that. Like this. Then you can go at once. And let's go. Um. Here I have nothing to tell, just kill everything by finishing it. Get the bomb. And at here, uh, try to be on the right side of the screen. Then you can get the super grenade and. Oh my god. Do super grenade and jump. Super grenade, jump bomb, and kind of super grenade. This way I go. I, I go this uh, like this way and 
Uh, the jumping is kind of uh, important here. So if you just run, uh, if you just walk, then the screen moves at this spot when the character is here. But if you jump, then the screen move moves at when the character is here, and this makes you kind of uh, do the rest of the strat more easily. So. If you just walk, then the crab he uh actually it's slow first. First of all, it's slow because the character is just um walking, and if you kill the crab at here, then this prisoner is kind of left. And if you throw the bomb at this timing, then the bomb will hit the prisoner, not the crab. So that would be the waste of the bomb. So jump it here and use the bomb. Use the super grenade. Then that super grenade will hit the crab, and the smoke will be will also release the prisoner. So with this, the the bomb would not be blocked. Might be blocked by the prisoner, and. Throwing the bomb will hit this crap. So like, yeah, that thing. And after that, the super grenade will be way easier to use. So, jump it here. At the, here, maybe the, what is this, the sign, I, I, I think. And use the super grenade, bomb bomb, and other super grenades. This way you can do more better. So like when I when I do I like to like this. Oh god damn it! So grenade bomb. God damn it! Super grenade bomb. Super grenade super grenade. This way you can go more fast. I think. I think. Okay, and now let's see. Uh, don't kill the crabs before you kind of. Hmm. D don't kill the crabs too fast because if you kill the crab, then another crab will spawn at here. So that makes you wa waste your super grenade. So a little bit wait and ki kill it here to kill this insect because um, for the next phase, I mean, uh, the kind of the I mean the next phase is kind of the insects coming here like here or here and in the one screen there is kind of five insects like I mean the uh, to go over to that pace uh, you should kill that one that one is kind of the condition to make the na next pace so yeah let's see if you don't kill then you don't go to the next pace so to make the next phase more faster, then you should kill that by hitting that. And uh, get the prisoner. And uh, as you can see, there was one crab coming here. So when I do this part, I kill this crab. And next, I'll, I use a super, gr super grenade to kill these things. Like this. I'll, I'll show you again. Save it. Use one super grenade. And kill it. Like this. I do like this. Uh, when you shoot the super grenade, be at the middle of the screen. So. Be at the middle. Like this. I can't explain more kind of better than this but just shoot at middle because the insects are going like this part this part this part this part like around and around yeah so uh if you just shoot then those going around and around the insects would hit by the Super grenade. 
Uh, if you do as I did, then you can get 36 or 38 seconds during here. Okay, and now. For the safety, to just go fight this. And... Okay. Wait a second. Before you go here, somebody just jump like they they don't they don't even kill these guys like here but they just jump but that is kind of dangerous thing so uh after confirming these crabs are killed then jump so let's save it here after confirming they are died then jump if you don't that, you would die by the crabs bubble thing or just knifing. I I think the what is that? The crabs that this thing this thing would kill you by knifing. Hmm. Yeah, you may kill by that. So jump after you confirm the uh die die of the crab. And okay, let's see. This crab has 30. The HP is 30, so uh, kill by one bomb and tiny heavy machine gun. This one is also. And at this part, um, many people just use the enemy chaser to kill those guys, but. Uh, let's see. Sorry. Okay, so, um, if you just go, then only two crabs are remain at this time. But if you kind of shoot, then these guys are keep spawning at the right side. So. Like this, and you may get more times to ki kill those things because at this part, this crab is only th this crab has only three HP, so it can be killed by one chaser or kind of one knifing. But if you kill those guy, if you kill that guy, and the next spawn things are HP with nine, so. You have to kill by three chasers, so that would be the waste of the chaser and also the waste of the time. So, um, don't kill, and if the screen stops, then use the chasers to kill that. That was I was gonna say, and at here, sorry. Oh God! God damn it! At this part, um, if you add here, so kind of the right side of the screen, then the first crab is spawned at the left side. And if you keep on the right side, then the second one is spawned at right side. So, um, kind of the first one is spawned at the opposite way where you are in the screen, and second one is spawned at the same side where where you are in the screen so we will use that so first be on the left of the screen use two bombs and four chasers because the these crabs are have 30 hp so it can be killed by four chaser and two bombs and to in order to kind of not to use more bombs we use Four chaser and two bombs, and killing these things with killing these things go front. Then, then you will be the right side of the screen when the second one is spawning. So, and here two bombs, four chaser, and go front. Then the second one would be also 
spawn at the right side. Swamp and or uh, chaser. Then the screen should have open, but there was one crap that is kind of preventing the screen from moving. But in most of the case, that would open the screen. I'll show you again. Okay, like this. After killing that, jump. If you don't jump, you would get the drop shot. And you get the drop shot and you would be more... Uh, you can't give more damage than using chaser. Well, actually, I think the drop shot and chaser has not that big... Um, not the big difference at the time, but seems like the chaser is a little bit more better than drop shot. Okay, after here at at this part, um, uh, move this slug a little bit more right side and get off. And uh, in this way, you can get more distance to kind of uh, to. Yeah, damage that boss. If the slug is here, then you have to get on the slug only kind of a little bit of damaging. And this is dangerous because as you can see, my slug was get drawn. So, put the slug on the right, get off, and damage a little bit, and get on the slug. This is the best way to kill the boss. And um, another tip is when you get on the slug, don't use the bomb like too early. So Sorry, that was I wanted to say. Um, so, kind of after damaging at this timing, somebody would keep um, clicking the bomb and uh, what is this? The attack button. But when the when you get on the slug, the what is this? The here the ground would be disappeared because of the crabs attack and. If you keep, if you keep, um, click the bomb button, then the bomb would be just thrown here. So it can't give the damage because the bomb is disappeared at the right, the downside because the ground disappeared. I'll show you. So, as you can see, there was the bomb here, and it was just disappeared on the to the what is this? The ocean. So, uh, the one I was gonna talking was, don't use the bomb after you get the slug, right after the slug. Kind of wait a little bit. Don't use the bomb, a little bit wait, and now use it. That wasn't good, but now use it. Fuck. Almost four bombs were disappeared. Mission complete. Okay, let's go mission to mission two. two. Mission do start. Okay, um first is here. The timing of throwing the bombs. Actually, it is too hard for me to 
explain the exact timing which that would kill the here the two zombies at at, uh, at the same time. So if just throw the bomb two at here, and if they die, then don't use if if they didn't die at once, then use another bomb to kill the doctor here, and throw at the place where the doctor was, uh, not the throw, jump at the place where the doctor was, and if you think you are the best, the highest height of the jump, then throw the bomb. Yeah, like that, then that would kill that zombie. Okay, like that. Um, sorry. Throw the bomb, and kind of when you are the middle of the zombie then throw the bomb and throw one bomb and shoot two pistols because this thing's HP is 12 so you need one bomb and additional two pistols to kill that yeah that would kill yeah as you can see and throw the bomb here then that would kill this zombie uh, if that bomb didn't kill it then just kind of be at here and knife once then the zombie would be killed um if you're failed at this and you kind of uh what is this um if you kind of failed at throwing the bomb and you just had had to kill that zombie with knife then don't jump at here because if you jump at here then there is kind of this zombie would show would shoot the what is that the thing this, this these things more faster and that would kill you maybe make you zombie so yeah that was the all I was gonna think um say at here I'll show you again Um, sorry. Uh, if you kill that this zombie by the jump, the bomb, then jump, jump, jump here and jump and throw the two bomb to get this box to destroy that box and jump again and get the bomb. And after getting the bomb, don't uh kind of jump right after you get the bomb because if you jump at this timing then you would get hit by this thing and you would be zombie so uh, walk a little bit and here the first thing I should say is the first, zomb first zombie that would spawn at here um, the these zombies the the first spawn zombies have additional maybe I think eight or ten more ten more kind of HP than the normal ones like spawned at here um, the first one like this 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 doctor zombie has maybe 20 20 or 22 or 23 HP I think yeah 23 and after this zombie this kind of black zombie has only what was that? Six maybe? No. Nine. Nine. That was nine and this thing is also nine. This thing is also nine. And this what is that? The Grandpa? Maybe? Grandpa zombie has twelve or thirteen, I think. Twelve or thirteen kind of HPs. So these things are killed by one zon one bombs. Only that Doctor Zombie has eighteen at this timing, this this spot, and that Grandpa was eleven. I'm sorry. No knife is not two. Knife is three. Knife knife damage is three. It is same as rocket launcher or kind of other. A chaser or drop shot or iron iron lizard. 
Uh, yeah. And let's see. Here, um, the these these three zombies are just what was that? The nine, but this zombie is fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. So one bomb and two knife would kill it like that. And if you kill it, it gives enemy chaser. That is why that zombie has additional HP than the other normal zombies. So get it by. Yeah, get the chaser. And at here, um, many people are just kind of attacking these soldiers at this part, but don't attack at until here, because these soldiers are keep spawning in the screen, uh, until they have four in the screen, until the screen stops. So, uh, if you kill this thing, as you can see, there is more. Uh, soldiers spawn. Let's see. Um, I'm sorry. I kind of clicked lot button. Okay. So. Get the bomb. And you got enemy chaser. Enemy chaser. And if you kill it. I'm sorry. Really sorry. I'll save after that part. Okay. If you get squishing zombie there, then throw one bomb. That would be more safe. Okay, let's save. So, for the explanation, I'll go like very slowly. As you can see, those things are keep spawning until they got four in the screen. Like, oh my god. Yeah, there is one more thing. And after killing three, there is three more soldiers that spawn. Like that. So, I wanted to tell was don't kill until the here. Um, if you get here, then the three soldiers are despawned by the screen. And... The new 3 1 will spawn at here, then shoot at this timing, then the chaser will kill all of the soldiers more faster and with no waste. Okay, and the helicopter here. Um, kill the helicopter when it kind of. Get off, maybe? Maybe go more right side, no, le go more left side from the timer. Because if you kill that helicopter too early, then I'll, I'll just show you. I can't explain. If you kill it too early, then the other helicopter don't die. And it just go like merry, merry go around, go around and around. Uh, and you have to kill that all helicopter by the enemy chaser, and that would be the waste of the enemy chaser, so. And it's also slow. Kill it after the... It goes left, up, left side of the timer. And the... HP of the red helicopter is 20, 20, so it needs 7 enemy chasers to kill it, so first you use 4 or 5 enemy chaser, and when the red helicopter is kind of going next to the timer, then shoot it. Then the helicopter is killed, and all of the rest of the helicopter is would be also killed. And after that, uh, there is two helicopters here, and y you can see the grandpa zombie here. Sometimes this thing is spawned at the left side, and if you are facing the left side and shoot the enemy chaser, then because of the zombie 
the grandpa zombie, you sh you would um kind of you would knife to the zombie, and you just you can shoot the enemy chaser to the helicopter. So uh, don't face the left side, face the right side, and then shoot like this. Like that. And after using two flame shot to the upper side helicopter, then there is kind of formula to uh, make the screen more go go screen more faster. Uh, it's right, left, right, 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 left, right, right. I'm oh, sorry. One, two, right, left, right, 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 left, right, right, like that. The exact uh, condition to make the screen go is uh, maybe was um if uh the there is kind of four maybe four four kind of the soldier with the machine gun at the right side and seven soldiers that just come from the left side ah uh, I'm sorry the machine gun soldiers are coming from the left side and just the soldiers are coming to the right side and we should kill all of the the soldiers there then the screen would move uh, sometimes the screen doesn't move because of the zombie that is coming from the left side so uh, we should kill those things more faster than faster so that kind of formula is uh, good <laughs> so right left right 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 left right right then you can go over to the next part and the first I gonna tell you something here so uh, if you shoot the flame shot like downside where the where there is kind of hill then flame shot is kind of go more farther like riding the ground like that so like this oh when you just shoot shoot the flame shot it only goes to the bad part but if you shoot it then it goes more farther like that i i can show this part this thing more kind of more um the next of this part I'll show you at that timing. Um let's go. Oh god. Uh I was a little bit late here. Let's see. Um don't mind that tanks just go come here and Uh, okay, um, if you shoot too close, then as you can see, the flame shot is here and the zombie is spawned at here. So, the zombie is not get hit by the flame shot. So, this zombie is keep alive at here. So, you should use the flame shot more kind of far from the these things, the structures so that the flame shot keep remains where the zombie spawns and the zombie is killed by the flame shot um actually the flame shot can kill the zombie at once how uh how many hp they have no matter how many hp they have the flame shot can kill the zombie at once okay so don't shoot the flame shot too far too kind of La. Let's see. Um, maybe here, the part where the the between the two trucks you can see at the background. Then the zombie is killed with the flame shot. Uh, start shooting the flame shot at here. So then the four flame shot would kill all of the zombies. One, two, three, four, and when you 
shoot it the fourth flame shot, then go back. So like you can be on the left side of the screen and jump and use one flame shot to the right and use additional flame shot to the up. Then you can go with killing that helicopter. Like this. Um, some guys would see that helicopter was spawned on the left side. Um, that is because the character was the right side of the screen, so... If the, if the character is the left side, left side of the screen, the helicopter spawns the, on the right side. So, I can go more faster, because I don't have to go back to kill that helicopter in this way. Okay, and after that, uh, if you do like me, then you can see the two zombies are at the sp same spot at here. Um, so kill them by flame shot, kill another thing by the flame shot, and after that, you can go like just jumping. You can go like skip. Oh, I'm sorry. Kill them, kill them, and jump over it. Jump one jump one more time, I'm sorry. Three, four, same shot. Kill it, kill it, jump, jump over, jump again, same shot, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, that should be flame shot, but... Um... Today that it's too... Ah, four, flame shot, flame shot, jump over, jump over, and flame shot here, yeah, and shoot down, then, as you can see, the flame shot can go more further like that, and use a flame shot to kill the rest of the zombies, and now it is boss, and... The most of the people just do like this and only left the third one and be zombie and use the bomb here. Like this. But my in my strat I would just kill the two by flame shot and kill this thing by flame shot like here. Um, if you do like this, then you should be a little bit precise. Uh, first, go a little bit more front from the where you are and use the bomb. If you don't do this, then if the these things were gathering pattern, then only two or four, only only two so the bosses would be killed. But if you go a little bit more front, then you can kill this. The you can you can kill three bosses here, like this. It, uh, if if it is spread, then you get you got the lucky pattern. Um, if you kill the three at the first bomb, you should wait a little bit. And if you heard the this kind of attacking sound, then if the attacking sound is kind of over maybe and then shoot the bomb then you can kill all the things okay uh, um if you are Kind of hard to do this strat. Then go here and some some. If you have flame shot, then you don't need to kill this second one. Just be the zombie at the second one. And oh, sorry. Kill it and be the zombie at the second one, like this. And you can kill the two zombies at one flame shot. 
at once. And there is kind of the spreading pattern, pattern and gathering pattern here. Uh, let's see. I showed you the spread pattern, so I'll, I'll just explain one more time. If you heard the first first attacking sound is over, then use it. Then you can kill all of the three things. And uh, maybe Inesper can uh, what is that? Explain more better, but you can see the the left foot of the character. It should be on here, like. As you can see, there is kind of a little bit of shade here, then the left foot should kind of cover all of the um, the shade. Then you can use the 3 cycle. I was a little bit late, but if you do this, then you can kill it by 3 cycle. Okay, um, let's see. I hope you get her. Please, hope get her. Get her. Yeah, if it is gathered, then there is another two patterns here, like, this thing would shoot like one per each, maybe, maybe, what should I say, they shoot kind of one, 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 but sometimes they shoot three, a little bit weight, sh three, a little bit weight, and three. If you got this kind of one pattern, then if the first bullet is hit the ground, then go back, go left side, and shoot. This would be more kind of easier to kill it. Don't get her, please. Ah. I kind of get all the shade, covered all the shade, then you can get the three cycle like this. Okay, so go back here. And when you see the first, the first kind of the boss is almost in the front, then shoot. And cover it. And you can see the metal, metal sock timer here. If it, this turns to the 60, then shoot. Start shooting. 60. Shoot. 2. 3. Yeah. This is all I know from the Metal Sock 3. The Mission 2. Why are you keep not gathering? You are giving very good pattern when I explain it. Okay. So this is the what I said that 3 at 1, 3, wait, 3, wait, 3, wait. Um, if the first 3 bullets kind of hit the ground, then move to the left. And avoid things. And shoot when the... Yeah. This is because I didn't kill the... 3 boss at the first, but... If you kill it, then you can kill the other 3. Please... Gather... I have to show... Go back... Go back... Shoot this timing. Yeah, that like that. Then you can kill all of the things. Okay, this was mission two. This is all I all I was gonna say. On mission two. This is all of my strat in mission two. Mission complete! And I, d I think I don't have enough time to explain mission 3, so... Ah, 
yeah, I have to explain that. I had to explain that. Um. I'm sorry. Mission do start. I need to go back to the boss. Wait a bit. No, I just explain that here. Okay, so the one I was gonna explain was ah no. Don't go back. Start. Let's see. Uh, first, kill me. Thank you. Um, it's kind of animation problem that you should know. Uh, kind of turning back like this, then it kind of take a take time to kind of turn turning back. So when you do the boss fight, uh, you would get the get hit by the bullets because you didn't turn around really fast. Um, there's kind of way to turn around really fast. Like, if you shoot, then you can turn really more faster. You can cancel the turning around, turning around, uh, animation. Like, yeah, like that. So, this cancelling would help you to, uh, avoid turning around more faster. And it would help you to not kill by the boss villains. Okay. Yeah. Uh... Well, some people kind of don't use this. They just kind of go back or front like this jump thing, but... Aha! Okay. Uh... If you just shoot, then that would not Mission kind of work. Start. So, let's see again. Kill me. Kill me. Thank you. So, um, if you just shoot... Oh, this also works. I didn't know this. Okay, just shoot would also work. But, this is more kind of comfortable and more easy and it is more used from the speedrunners and some other people. Okay. Yeah, that was all. Bye bye. Um